hunt for a way in. Leave it to me. Not a problem. Well, as long as I don't get caught. I guess that wasn't so hard. That's not nice. Well done. This area's close to anyone who ain't one of Captain Benwith's personal crew, and you ain't, so get lost, Swamp. Says who what? I happen to know each and every shipmate who's one of Brutal Ben's own, and you ain't him. You knew. Captain Aldi's does. Her fault, her rules. Ben whiffs her right hand on account of their history together. When she ain't here like now, he's in charge. And he says this area's for his crew alone. Oh, I see. Because I got my eye on you, chum. But I'll also be showing you back so you don't get any ideas. Alarm's been going off like sea sirens and heat lately. And last thing I need is old brutal Ben breathing down my neck. I've got to come clean about something, and that'll be as good a time as not. Much as I hate Benwith, the main reason I signed up with you were uh, to get here. To get a chance to look for a man named Romaro. Now, that'd be a longer story than we've got time for. Quick of it be that uh, Romaro's in trouble. The Principe have sent a ship hunter after him, and I've got to need and a half to find him first. I didn't see his ship, so probably not. But mayhaps we could keep a weather eye open for clues to his whereabouts. Apologies, Captain, for not being more forthcoming. Romaro be like family to me, and I didn't know you from a bilge pump. Actually, I've known a bilge pump or two. Thanks, Captain. I appreciate it. 
truly. Come, we've plenty to share. Oh, there. Watch your step. The stones are a mite slippery. Here's to ourselves. May the gods grant us more gold and luck than we can imagine. You bet. Our bosun just brought a treasure map. We're saluting to our future prosperity, we are. We'd be making a proper raucous if I'm with the Craghearted wasn't such an accursed downer. She loathes any type of disorder, especially that of the loud variety. We get too wild and you watch, she'll be stomping down here to yell at us. You can pay to try. Drink up, and we'll see who's left standing. Let's get swilling. First up's a round of a deer and mead. Not a bad start, not at all. Next round's grog, not just any grog, mind you. This batch is fermented with gunpowder. Not many can handle a whole pint of gunpowder grog. Now, nah, the best for the last will be having us a bit of hangman's blood. If this doesn't knock you on your backside, nothing will, I fear. You mean the way our crew makes it? A bit of this and a pinch of that, all mixed in a hogshead of pickled corpse fruit. For oh, it's been known to kill a man, or at least his breath. Don't take it personally, pal. It's a fine way to lose 20 pyres. Forging far from here, right up them stairs. Why in the blackest hell are you clomping around so loud? How be it? You're not allowed up here. You know good fuddlers. Just got no patience for them, the bilge lickers. It's rot enough I'm posted next to the forge, having to listen to that hammer striking non-stop all day long. Add on those howling guzzlers at the bottom of the stairs, and you get the picture. Enough gabbling. The ramparts are off limits to anyone but Ben West's crew. Run off, or I'll run you through. No, I'd best escort you back. Follow me if you want to keep living. Try to sneak past if you want to die. A couple more of those are going to start to think we're up to something. Like what you see, right away. Thank you. 
It was their first hanging. Had the rope too long, so we cut the tosser's head right off. Huh. Ain't even possible, that. It is. I'm telling you, I saw it. Can't say I recognize your fishy mug. Which means you ought not to be up here. Benwith's watching the deadlight for Captain Aldi's inner absence. He gets the privilege on account of them going way back. If you know what I mean. Had a spot of trouble at the forge. He's sorted now, though. Don't be worrying about my kisser. Enough prattling. For now, only Benwith's personal crewmates are permitted into Deadlight's Heights. You ain't one. So swim off. It's not that I don't trust you. But seeing as I don't trust you half so far as I can throw you, I'll be escorting you down. Might I help you out of a bit of money, squab? Care to join our fun? Or is it swilling information you're chasing? I ain't my captain's keeper. And I know better than to ask what business you've got with Brutal Ben. You might check the court for him. If he ain't target practicing, he's tickling the harpsichord or taking his swill. Two out of the three can be done there. But if you see him, don't fucking tell him I sent you. Now, before we get rolling, let me tell you the rules. You bet on high if you think when the dice settle, they'll count up to more than seven. You bet on low if you think the count will be less than seven. Both pay double or nothing. Lastly, you can also bet on seven. If the count is exactly seven, then you win four times the wager. A hundred pyres per roll of the dice. You sure you want to risk it? You lose, mate. What a shame. <laughs> Care for another roll? Looks like you've won. Care for another roll? You lose, mate. What a care for another roll? You lose, mate. Care for another roll? Every bullet, I cap.
Anything this closely guarded must lead to something... <laughs> well, that's not nice. All done. I don't think so. Not a problem. I'll see what I can find. Familiar looking sort, ain't you? Well, mayhaps best be praying to Andra that ain't true, Swabby. By your blasted guts. Oh, I see. Alarm's been going off like. Before I go introducing you to Siri, I should, uh, mention something. I might have said things to Siri when I last dropped anchor at Deadlight. Just lovers' words savvy. But I can't say I rightly lived up to him. I ain't seen it as a problem, just a possible wrinkle in the old charts. Sailing with bare poles, Cap. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you see a go for a pistol, you best step away from me. Damn me, the cops run dry. Look who finally washed back up ashore. Ahoy there, Siri. 
Uh, miss me? Did I miss you? <sighs> like a fish misses water, you gutless bastard. For the first few weeks, anyhow. Till it turned to confusion and worry. You said you'd write every night, didn't you? Then where were the birds or the boats with your poems and pages? You saying our pirate's a poet? Siri, sweet honey art. I scribbled you missives day and night. Declarations of passion, sonnets in songs. Or on account of me being at sea, I never had the opportunity to post them. Oh, I'm certain. I'm certain I should believe every word of that blarney. About as certain as I am that you're a snake-tunned philandra worth little more than a tug in the rug. I plundered you up a pair of fine, very fine, snakeskin boots. With that tooling you like round the cuffs and all. But the gentleman sprung a leak, and they ended up thoroughly sodden. <laughs> Tell her, Cap. Are you meaning to tell me that you've not dropped anchor at Fort Deadlight in the last eight months? Well, come to have a look at you. Can't say I've ever seen you before. This your captain then now? What happened to Ferrante? Ferrante still be sailing the seas, right? Is the rain and twice as frigid. Just gave me a bit of furlough to engage myself in more personal pursuits. Such as an emerald haired lass who ain't never once left my thoughts. Now don't go thinking I've forgiven ye a lick, Seraphin. I know you didn't come here looking for me, cos if you had, you'd have come with a bottle and without your sodding captain. Oh, you ain't wrong, lass. Wish it weren't true, but it is. Now, why don't you be telling me what you want so I can be shot of you for good? Aye, lass. The captain's got an ask or two about deadline. But first, I need to know. You remember Romaro? Sail with me on a sorcerer. Aye, I, I remember Romaro. You think I've gone wet in the head or something? Your words have always been as flowery for him as they were for me. It weren't so long ago he shipped out, come to think on it. Hard to starboard through the back door there, then straight on to the end of the hall. Don't think nobody's claimed his quarters since. Might be worth it to eat a poke around. Whale tells you, let me know. Rumour were he went mutinous. Oh, sideways pickle or shit and a half. Wait till I find a whale fuck mother spreading this rancid shit. Teach them the very meaning of keelhaul, I will. Don't know the truth of it myself. I have been Romaro himself started the rumours. Gave him his privacy, certain. Even here, mutineers make no friends. Give my thanks, lass. Truly. And many more besides. I'll keep it in your pantaloons, you randy swab. You had any other questions, Captain? Happy to oblige the person hauling this blue bastard away from Fort Deadlight. You don't know? That's so. I'm thinking it's not my place to tell you. They both crewed the sorcerer for a season or six. Rimaro were like a father to Seraphon, or so he's told me. Taught him the mariner's trade. More than that, you'd have to ask him yourself. Were there something else you wanted? That rotten fuck what brought you to Fort Deadlight? I hope you're looking to rough him round a bit. Maybe dangle him over the bulwarks. Bastard were playing the keys not five nights ago. I joined him and me not even setting out a pail for coin, neither. He stops and tells the whole room that me voice were more harpy than siren. Of course, that sets everyone to laughing. Aye, that half mast sack of soiled linens can't leave alone a chance to show off his talent at the harpsichord. He's got chops, I can't fault him that. But no manners to speak of. You think this be some big city cabaret type establishment? There's no schedule, mate. Benwith comes down when the party's loud enough to shake his sheets harder than the oars he keeps up there. Benwith blows into deadlight, he mostly stays locked up in his quarters. 
A few holes in his bunk, and a whole mess of muscle outside his berth. He's so protected, you'd think he'd got flawless diamonds betwixt his legs, instead of the pair of sweat, wet, rotten figs he's got. I suppose the price of being a first-class arse like Benwith is living in fear of someone slitting your gizzard. Aye, mate, as you please. You're welcome to enjoy the court's offerings, and that's all. Eat, gamble, fall on your face drunk, but don't go snooping for trouble. Welcome one and welcome all! Buy me a bottle and I'll be your finest loving pal! <laughs> what says you, lad? Aye, you're likely to find him here from time to time. At the moment, he's staying up top at Aldi's private quarters. Well, they're real nice. Oh, you meant because the captain's second in command at Aldi's. When she's off plundering, it's him who runs a deadlight. Ben's locked down the inner halls in the upper ramparts. No one but his own crew's allowed within. He's tempting the fork down because he doesn't want to get in trouble with Aldi's again. Last time, we might have got too rowdy. <laughs> but executing all those political prisoners sure was fun. <laughs> He's brutal when he's sober, and he's bloody mad when he drinks. So he's keeping to himself, I'd guess. Aldi's ain't a pushover, but she don't like Benny's increasing aggressiveness. If he gets out of band again, she might hang him by his squishy bits from the bowsprit of his own ship. And why would you want to be doing that? <laughs> so long as it stays between just you, in it. Ben loves him some good festivities. Blood or booze doesn't matter so long as it's flowing freely. <laughs> That's why Aldi's is always having to rein him in. Long as it don't get too out of band, the captain will probably join us rather than shutting things down. I know how to get us started, but you'll be doing the legwork. Seeing as I don't fancy a punishment should the captain get mad. The more booze, the rowdier we principally get. The bad the booze. Well, that's when the real fun starts. I happen to know. Deadlights recently received a shipment of excellent God Killer's rum. It's reserved for Aldi's private stock. Snatch us a barrel, will ya? They're outside on the eastern rampart at the base of the crane. Careful, though. The steers will be guarded by Ben West's own crew, and they're in a sour mood. Most direct route to the rampart is up the stairs by the Eastern Towers. Ancret's on post there. She's a bit of a gambler, likes a good bet, but loses more than she ought. Oh yeah, Snake Eye's got her for quite a lot of coin. Seems he's good at rigging, and I don't mean sales. <laughs> He'll save her and guzzle it with the rest of us. Then later find someone to blame. I'm listening. <laughs> 